Hello, this is Julia Whitup with the Author School Show, and we have with us today Narish Visa, who is the author of a book on podcasting, and he's going to talk to us about podcasting today. So, tell us a little bit about podcasting. Thank, thanks so much for having me on the the show, Julia. So the book is called Podcast Nomics. The book of podcasting to make you millions, and I wrote the book because podcasting is a new form of uh, of content consummation. It's audio content. Essentially, a podcast is a program, so it can be any program that is made available in digital format for download. So that can be downloaded through your mobile phone. It can be downloaded through a cloud. It can be downloaded on the internet. So that's the basic definition of what a podcast is. So now, it's I wrote, not yeah. always it's not always sound. It's audio. Uh, oh, it's always audio. Yeah. So okay. so it's it's music or talk made available in digital format. So um, generally, we're talking sounds here. We're talking. Uh, talk shows. The easy, the easy definition, the easiest way to put it is, is it's essentially a radio show that's available on the internet rather than on your AM FM stereo. Okay. So that's what a podcast is. And how, how can our authors take advantage of that? Sure. So podcasting is, uh, is really the, the future of audio consummation. And I say that because radio is is dying there's no other way to put it um and there is research that backs that up that radio used to be the most listened to medium during the 90s and it has fallen um tremendously since then and it's now the third most listened to uh medium after tv and the internet or it, it's a third most um, consumed uh channel after tv and the internet so uh, it's important for authors to know about podcasting because just like writing books, just like blogging is a great way to build an audience and to engage with with uh, with customers and with readers. Podcasting is is another platform that you can utilize to build your audience, to build your readership. Um, the greatness with podcasting is anybody can do it. Back in the day, you had to be a very seasoned radio talent to be on the radio. Back in the day, you had to be a really, really strong writer with a good agent to get book deals. But with podcasting, this is something that you can start from your from your basement in your house in your home. Um, it's it's pretty simple to do. The book walks people on how they can get up and running for a really, really minimal cost. And because of iTunes. So iTunes is the program that Apple released about a decade ago where, where individuals can download music and, and podcasts and other products. Because of iTunes and the ability to upload podcasts to iTunes, authors now have the opportunity to put themselves in front of the entire world. iTunes is for podcasters just as Amazon is for authors. And can they charge for their shows if they on iTunes? So, so the the book um, in the book I talk about three revenue drivers that podcasters uh, can, can implement. The first revenue driver is subscription content. So that's that's what you're talking about. That means listeners would pay a, a subscription fee to listen to the content. Now, my recommendation is you have one free show where people can get your content for free, and then you add another product, which is a paid product, and you charge for that. And you have options. You can you can either host that paid product yourself, that way you get to keep all the profits, or you can work out a deal with a podcast hosting provider, which has already cut a deal with, with Apple and iTunes, and, and you can uh, work out a deal with them, get a, a cut of any revenue that's generated, um, and that's usually with the hosting provider. So when I say a hosting provider, I'm talking about uh, some companies would be like Libsyn Pro, SoundCloud. Uh, those are those are just some examples. Okay, would Blog Talk Radio be one of those? Or 
<laughs> Blog Talk Radio is not. Blog Talk Radio is 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 not a, a hosting provider. That is an online radio service. And um, my recommendation is to is to kind of stay away from from Blog Talk Radio because uh, unless your show is also on iTunes and other distribution networks. So when I say distribution networks, I'm talking iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Player.fm. These are all international brands that will market for you, that will distribute your podcast for you. And what that means is you'll be bringing in new listeners and in turn new readers for your books. Great. That sounds like a great idea. What kind of things would it would an author podcast about so it it really depends on what the what the author writes about so if the author is a self-help uh writer then the podcast can focus on on self-help type of uh topics if the author in in my case i'm a i'm a, a an entrepreneur a marketer so the books that i write focus on um business development on digital marketing uh, and then niches within digital marketing like podcasting, uh, on personal development, um, self-improvement, things like that. So if I, so right now I currently uh, fill in as host for for several different podcasts, and I manage, I produce and manage more than twenty, more than twenty different podcasts for different clients. But if I wanted to start my own show, my own show, no more clients, just it's just me. Um, then I would focus on those topics that I just told you. It would probably be a business t- podcast that focuses on on uh, on what what I mentioned. So it really depends on the expertise and the niche that the author brings to the table. And can you think of so- something that a fiction writer has podcasted on? Yes. Yeah, so actually, in the book, I give the example of um, of the movie Fight Club, which is a, a fictional story. Now. I bring that up because you can start a podcast on a popular fiction book. So let's say an author is a fiction writer and one of their books hit number one on Amazon or, or it hit the bestseller list elsewhere. Um, what they can do is start a podcast just on that book. And in fact, with podcasting, the more niche you get, the greater the chance that you're going to build a true following. So if you start a podcast on that book, now you're getting listeners who read that book and who want to know even more about that book. And if you come out with a sequel to that book, then those are going to be the first people who are going to line up to buy that book. So uh, absolutely, fiction writers can, can come. That's just an example that I gave you. Fiction writers can also start podcasts on the writing process. So um, kind of uh, tips and, and tricks on how they can go about uh, writing, improving their writing, what is their daily routine like, um, things like that. So podcasting is really for everybody. What's the average length of a podcast? So it really depends. A podcast can be as short as one minute. It can be as my recommendation is that it never goes over one hour. If they go over one hour, uh, there are many podcasts and interviews that do go over one hour. The problem with that is they're just so long that people um, might tune out. Uh, they might, you know, either they may not have enough time or they'll just tune out if it's not interesting. So you might be wondering, well, how can you have a, a one minute podcast? Well, you can you can start, you can have a one minute podcast, let's say if you have a show that answers listener questions. So uh, you could start the podcast with the question that the listener asks and then you just answer the question. So. If the question is, how can I publish my book on Amazon? Then you just say, go to www.createspace.com, go to www.acx.com for audiobook, go to uh, Kindle, KDP for Kindle, and visit those sites. They have all the info you need to publish your book on Amazon. Done. That can be one entire podcast. Um, Okay. So there, there is no link, but my recommendation is um, you want a minimum of five minutes and you want a maximum of one hour, regardless of what the format is. Okay. Okay, so that sounds interesting. Um, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking, well, that opens up a whole new world for authors. 
Oh yeah. So one thing, one thing I've I've learned about authors, be, being an author myself, is um, we really enjoy writing, and that's really our passion. We we like to write and we focus on our writing, but uh, it, it's it's very difficult for an author to focus on the bigger picture. They'll write the words, and then after that, it's like okay, I'll let the publisher take care of of the other stuff. But we're moving into a, a digital age where um, it financially it makes sense for the author to take over the entire process from beginning ideation all the way through writing, publishing, and marketing. It makes sense for the author to take control because uh, big publishers are losing lots of money. Uh, you can, for, for the listeners or the viewers out there, just Google the, the lawsuit that Amazon is in with, with some of the big publishers. Um, simply because the big publishers are losing so much market share to the self-publishing space and to Amazon. So uh, this is the way the, the digital world is, is moving. The idea of, of uh, getting an agent, of, um, of advances, those are quickly, quickly diminishing. It, it's now rare that you hear about an author getting an advance of greater than $30,000. And that's simply because uh, these publishers aren't as profitable as they used to be. And uh, as a result, well, and, and it's because writers are now doing things themselves. And uh, I, myself, I have a publishing company, and I publish not only my work, but other people's work too. And uh, my book, Podcastnomics, was just an example of how I beat the big publishers at their own game. I did it all by myself. And if you were to go right now to the podcast nomics page on Amazon, you'll notice that right now it's sitting at number three in its section on the on the bestseller list. And if you look at all the other books around uh, around my around my ranking, so like the number two book, the number four, number five book, they're all published books by by big publishers, and I beat them at their own game uh, simply by taking control of of my message and taking control of the publishing process. So um, oh. th there are huge changes that are going to be happen happening within the industry. Okay, well our time is almost up. Could you give tell us where your website is? Sure, so um, the, the book website is podcastnomics.com. Uh, you can, you can, there are links on that site that take you to buy the book. You can also find the book on, on Amazon. And if you're interested in my media and marketing company, we offer a wide array of media and marketing services. It's KrishMediaMarketing.com. That's K-R-I-S-H MediaMarketing.com. And uh, if you want to subscribe to my free newsletter, you can do that at PodcastNomics.com. You can also do that at my personal website, NareshVisa.com. That's my first name and last name, NareshVisa.com. Okay. Thanks for being with us today. All right. Thank you so much, Julia.